Hello, I'm Jeremy with Eastern Shore Toyota. I'm a service technician. Typical day in the automotive world includes me diagnosing and fixing customers' vehicles. Um, we may have situations where we may have to bring trucks or cars, put them on lifts, get underneath for customers to view or to diagnose vehicles. Um, we'll use computers um, to interface with vehicles, connect to them to see check engine light issues, certain issues that the computers on board the vehicles will have to be diagnosed. Test drives are involved. Uh, sometimes having a lot of interaction with customers is, is uh, entailed sometimes. Um, having to test drive with customers to hear rattles, noises, such as that. Um, and in that, diagnosing the vehicle, completing the diagnostics, you know, make a, preparing an estimate for the customer to give them an accurate on how much it's going to be to repair their vehicle. So they can say yes or no or, or pick and choose what parts of it they would like to do. The, <coughs> the repair procedure will continue on, we'll fix the customer's vehicle, verify that their complaint is repaired, test drive the vehicle again, wash the vehicle, all in the process, return the vehicle to the customer. Um, having your own hand tools is a, is a must. Um, having the knowledge to use those tools is extremely valuable. There are specialty tools per manufacturer, in my case Toyota, um, that the dealership or the company may provide for the specially designed tools for the job. There's also an extreme amount of computer interaction, whether it be interfacing with a customer's vehicle or if you have to look up different items on a computer to know to navigate properly through the computer world. And a typical day for me in the dealership world and hours wise is approximately from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. A work day or work week rather will include from Monday through Saturday with a day off in between. So you'll work typically a five day work week, hour lunch and your time, morning break, afternoon break. Stress level, typical day, is gonna be somewhat low. Um, Unless you have like an irate customer, which is very few and far between, um, doing a good job, you just don't have those. So I would say out of a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, one being the lowest, probably a two to three. So stress level is quite low. In the automotive industry, there's a number of ways to get started. Um, as young as high school, um, possibly a junior, senior, if your high school has some sort of technical program, that's a very good way to get started to get acclimated with the automotive industry. Um, also, you can go into a technical college after high school, post high school, and you can get a degree in automotive technology, um, get, getting certifications along the way for whatever manufacturer or independent shop you may be wanting to work for. Um, you can also start in an entry level position, um, work your way up, do some, so to speak, on the job training. So that's, there's, there's a multitude of ways to start in this industry. In today's automotive industry, education is extremely valuable. Um, from down to the maths, the English, proper grammars, and translating that to a customer in the paying world, the automotive world is, is gonna be very, very valuable. Um, getting your education and degree certification in the automotive industry such as ASC certifications um, is, is extremely valuable. Also, having the, the patience to keep doing it, to not stop, to not quit is very valuable. Best and worst part of a job in the automotive field, in my opinion, my best part is having the satisfaction of repairing a customer's vehicle, doing it properly, and doing it very reasonably. Also, you have the pay is very good with the education. Um, worst part of the job for me, typical day, is cleaning up at the end of the day. 
Uh, also, if you have a customer that's a bit unreasonable or a bit impatient, that can fall under the worst part category at times. In the automotive industry, out of high school, afternoon jobs in a shop, it's gonna be very helpful. Learning the entry level positions and what to do. Also, and when school's out during the summer vacation, that's a good time to do a part-time job um, in a shop facility, whether it be a dealership world or an independent world. Um, while you're in school, math is extremely important in this field. Having a, it's, it's a, one of the very vitals of this job. So it is please do not give up on math. Learn as much as you can about it because you will need it every single day.